Now, British bees, we know, are already under threat, but they could be faced with a new fight in the shape of a predator heading to our shores. An Asian hornet can kill up to 40 honeybees a day. In fact, six people in France have also died after being stung by the insects. Let's go to Chelmsford in Essex. I'm Brian Spencer, Secretary of the Chelmsford Beekeepers. Brian, good to see you this morning. How much of a concern are these Asian hornets actually posing? They are a great concern. Here in, the, in Chelmsford, we're very used to the European hornet. But this Asian hornet takes things to another level. They have got a sting of six millimetres. They live in groups of thousands rather than hundreds. And they will cause the bees a lot of trouble. They're going to sit outside the beehive. They're going to eat the bees one after another. Some of these, bee these Asian hornets, they could destroy a hive in a matter of hours. So it's a completely new threat to us. So what can you do, if anything, Brian? Well, what we're doing at the moment, the Hornet hasn't actually come to the, U to the UK. Uh, one, sooner or later, it's going to hitch a lift on a, a ferry or through the tunnel on a, um, a container or something. So at the moment, we're in a situation where we're monitoring what's going on. We, I've got a trap here. This trap's filled with beer at the moment, and it's filled with sugar. And the Asian Hornet, if it comes, we'll trap it in there, the Virgin or the, the queen hornet, and that will stop the nest growing. Once we trap this and we detect it, we'll be sending that off to Fedra, and they'll, they've got a contingency plan in place, and they'll try and reduce the impact of the hornet. There's also a threat to humans as well. As you say, people have died in France. If you see one of these nests in the forest, they're usually a metre high, containing two or 3,000 hornets. If you disturb these nests, they will go for you in their hundreds. And they're, they're different from a bee, because a bee will only sting once. These hornets can sting multiple times. And that's why people are dying, or people have died. They die from anaphylactic shock, which is what you can also get from bees and wasps. And they also die from kidney failure. It sounds Just your information. It, it sounds got. really grim, Brian. Yeah, show us what you've got there in those uh, petri dishes. What I've got here is just, this is a European hornet. And funny enough, the Asian hornet is smaller, but far more aggressive. This is a bee, a honeybee we get in the UK. You can see the difference in size. These honeybees just stand no chance against the hornet. In fact, the Asian hornet can attack the European hornet because of their aggression, because of the power of their, t of, their, of their jaws. They can eat these things. So it's not uh, something to be taken lightly and the government and, and B British beekeepers are constantly monitoring for these uh, hornets. Does the government Here have I've a responsibility? Bees, you can see this is what Brian. Does it? Does the government have a responsibility to act when it comes to this and protecting bees because they are protected in this country, aren't they? The bees are protected, but it's not about protection. It's about we want to keep the bees because we need the bees to pollinate all our flowers and all the crops, and they are worth millions of pounds in pollination. So the government has got a response plan. When they're detected, they've usually come in, they've probably come in in the south, south of England, because believe it or not, we've got the best and driest weather here, not today. And they've probably come through Felixstowe, one of the ports in, in, in the south of England. As soon as they're detected by a beekeeper, who most of them will be hanging these near their hives, as soon as they're detected, the response plan comes into place, which is about destruction, detection, and about more education for the bees. Once they're established, we're probably going to have to deal with them, and that day will come. You better give us a quick glimpse at uh, your bees there, Brian, because if, if, if nothing else, they are incredibly fascinating and intelligent creatures, aren't they? They are absolutely amazing creatures. Here I've taken a frame out. There's a couple of thousand bees here. We'd usually have 10 frames, so we'd usually have about 60,000 bees in a beehive. I don't know if you can see this, but I've marked the queen in red there, and she's, they're laying, she's laying about 2,000 eggs a day. And under these bees, this mass of bees, is a mass of eggs. So you can imagine this is just a, a massive food store for the hornet who loves meat. So they'll go in and just have gorge on this stuff. And these bit, this queen is going around. She's actually laying an egg as we look. And the bees are laying on, on the eggs and keeping the, bee, and keeping the babies warm. Inside here, I've got some more bees. This hive, a, hive, a normal hive will produce probably 100 pounds of honey a year. 
and we keep about six hives down the, down the garden here. Some of them you can see are doing little dances and they're telling other bees where the food is. There's one here doing a little dance and what they've done, they've gone out two or three miles, located some flowers with some pollen on, they come back here and they do a dance and the dance is on the comb in relation to the angle of the sun. The interesting thing is they can do it even on a cloudy day because they have five eyes, they can detect the sun through the through the through the cloud and actually tell the bees exactly where their plant is. How is that, clever is that? I don't it, think we it's do absolutely that. amazing. Now. Amazing. Brian, really good to talk to you this morning. Thanks very much indeed. My uh, pleasure, thank you. And that has really put me in the mood for some toast and honey, let me tell you. Uh, we've got the sport coming up in just a moment. Here's Olivia.